Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Tuesday. All right, we're back at it. Okay, so today I wanted to review compare and contrasting. Remember those words? We did it a long time ago. Okay, so let's talk about what that means. All right, so compare. What is the same? How are things alike? right? Words you might hear like they both have, they're similar, right? The same as, alike, they're pretty, like, they're pretty close to each other, right? So that's comparing what is the same, okay? And then do you remember contrast? What is different about them, right? People might say the word different or unlike, or instead, um, in, she, does, she doesn't like red, instead she likes blue, that's different, right? Or on the other hand, right, like here, she might want pizza for lunch, but on the other hand, she really likes Chick-fil-A. I just made that up. But comparing and contrasting, okay? Compare is what's similar, what's kind of the same. Contrast, we're trying to find things that are different, okay? Today, I wanted to talk about, can you see it all? I don't know. Maybe you can see both the books there, okay? Do you remember around right before spring break, we read the story of the three little pigs, Yes, and I have that on the left side. So these two big circles are called a Venn diagram. Can you say a Venn diagram? Venn diagram with a V, okay? This helps us figure out what's different and what's the same, okay? So things that are different. Now, the two books we're gonna compare today, and I'm gonna read the book because you don't know the other one. The first one's The Three Little Pigs. I called it the original there. It's got the usual, just about the original story, right? Three pigs, they leave mom, they go out on their own. One builds it out of sticks and then, uh, well, straw, then sticks, then brick, and the wolf tries to come down, but the wolf doesn't, um, goes down the chimney. That's usually the story of the three little pigs. Now, today I'm going to read a story called The Three Little Pigs and the Somewhat Bad Wolf. Yeah, okay, so we did read The Three Little Pigs, and then we read the story that um, Tell the Truth BB Wolf, right, where the Big Bad Wolf was trying to make himself look good by telling a story, kind of lying, right, and then finally he showed them how he changed. This one's a little different, so Three Little Pigs and the Somewhat Bad Wolf. So Somewhat Bad Wolf, it's really telling us, is he not so bad then, right? wonder what's going to be different about this story compared to the original story, okay? So we're gonna talk back, Talk. Uh, I'm gonna read the story and then we'll talk about it while we're reading what's different or maybe what's the same, okay? All right, and so for a Venn diagram, see where that pink word is, the original? That would be about the three little pigs. The blue word, the somewhat bad, would, would be what's different with the somewhat bad wolf. And in the middle where it says same is purple, it's what both stories have in common. What's the same about both stories? All right, so. Let me, let's see, oh, gotta go back. Okay, so now I'm gonna read our story. Okay, so it's Three Little Pigs and the Somewhat Bad Wolf by Mark Teague. Okay, pigs look pretty happy there. Wonder what makes this wolf somewhat bad. Hmm. All right, because the original story, the wolf's bad. All right, oh, pigs are playing soccer. Okay. Once there were three little pigs. They lived in a farm as most pigs do and were happy as most pigs are. Then one day the farmer told them that he and his wife were moving to Florida. He paid the pigs for their good work and sent them on their way. Okay, just wanna stop you right here. What about the original three little pig story? Why do the three pigs, where are they first in the story? Do you remember before they go and build their houses? They're with mom pig, right? And the mom's like, you're old enough. You need to go find out on your own, right? Go take care of yourselves. That's a little different. We can compare and contrast here. A little different. Same story about three pigs, right? But a little different how it starts. The original, the mom is saying, you're going to go here. They live on a farm, right? And the farmer is like, hey, I paid you here, but I got to move now. So you got to be on your own, okay? Um. If I had to guess, no, I don't know, but I'm looking at these pigs. These two look like they're goofing off having fun, and this one looks a little more serious. I wonder if this is the one who makes his house out of bricks, right? Because remember, he was a little bit smarter, so we'll see. Let's buy potato chips, said the first pig. Let's buy soda, said the second pig. Let's buy building supplies, said the third pig, who was altogether unpig like Okay, so they want to buy like snacks where the other one's like, let's get serious. 
Reluctantly, the others agreed. The first pig decided to build a straw house. Okay, that's kind of the same as the other story. Since straw is cheap, he had plenty of money left over for potato chips. Oh, so he did build his house out of straw, but it's really cheap. So he had money left over, right? And he had more money to spend to buy potato chips because that's what he wanted. All right, so the second pig decided to build a stick house. Sticks are practically free, so he had lots of money left over for soda. That's true. Sticks you can find just outside, right? The third pig decided to build a brick house. She spent all her money on bricks, um, but the man at the hardware store gave her a sandwich. So she spent all her money on the building supply. But he's like, hey, I'll give you a sandwich. You'll like you need it. So what's the same so far? Three pigs, yeah, from the both stories, right? One building a house out of straw, one's building a house out of stick, one's doing a brick. But what's different a little bit? Yeah, and this one, they're buying things. They're buying things like soda and straw with their money left over. All right, there's that straw house. Does not look sturdy if there's a bad pig, but he's a somewhat bad pig. Hmm. Soon the straw house was finished. It was dusty and musty, but the first pig did not mind. He rocked in his hammock and ate potato chips. He's eating potato chips and the book he's reading is 1001 Tasty Dessert. So he likes his food. Soon after that, the stick house was done. It was small. Can you see the stick house? There it is. It was small and there was no room for a bathtub, but the second pig did not mind. He took a mud bath and drank his soda. Well, he is a pig, right? So a mud bath probably works. Brick by brick, the third pig worked on her house. Sometimes the other pigs would come by to watch. Watch, They had a wonderful time. <laughs> okay, there they are. One pig's eating potato chips, the other one's drinking soda, and they're just watching the other pig build and work hard. Finally, whoa, look how beautiful that brick house is. Good job, third pig. Finally, the brick house was finished. It was big, beautiful, and strong. The third pig was very happy. She filled a basket with vegetables from her garden. Oh, she's even eating good. Good for her. Oh, here comes the wolf, finally, right? I was about to say, is the wolf in this at all? The next day, a wolf came to town. He was some, he was very hungry and somewhat bad. All right, so he's at a donut place. He went to a donut shop, but it was closed. He went to a hot dog stand, but it was locked. That also means closed. Finally, he went to a pizza parlor, but he wasn't allowed in. He left in a very bad mood. Okay. Have you ever heard the word hangry? Do you know what I'm mixing there together? Hungry and angry together. Sometimes, now it doesn't excuse people for being mad, but sometimes people don't realize that they're kind of grumpy or maybe a little sensitive or kind of mad in a bad mood because they're so hungry. You ever been so hungry, like maybe you were playing or you had like a sport you had to go to where you were jumping around and riding your bike so much, you're like, whoa, I'm really hungry, right? You're like, I can't wait to get back home and eat or we can stop somewhere to get food. It's kind of what this wolf is right now. He was really hungry. He went to the donut place. He like went to L&M Bakery and they were like, sorry, we're closed. And they went to a hot dog place. They're like, sorry, we're closed. And he went to Angelo's, right? And they were like, sorry, we're closed. Whoa, he's so hungry. Oh, and he looks really mad and bad there. Okay. <sighs> Soon he came to a straw house. It smelled like pig. I like pig, he said, not in a friendly way. He banged on the door. Who is it? Called the first pig. The wolf. Open up or I'll blow your house down. Uh, I think the door is stuck, said the pig. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Sounds kind of bad, doesn't he? Okay, first of all, let's stop. Compare and contrast. Is this the same as the other story or different? I would say kind of the same, right? Because he knocked, right? And he was like, open up, right? Like, or I'll blow your house down and he blows the house down, right? Just like in the other story. I don't know, the pig didn't say not by the hair of my chinny chin chin though, but same kind of concept. He came over, blew the house down. Oh, so he did, so he blew the house down. I can't believe that worked, he said. He had never blown down a house before. Quickly, the first pig got on his scooter and sped away. Well, that's not really nice though, right? You blew someone's house down, but he's like, I can't believe that worked. I guess I am pretty strong. 
The wolf moved on, hungry but confident. He came to another house, this one built of sticks. Same piggy smell, he said. He knocked on the door. Who is it? Called the second thing. Wolf, open up or I'll pull your house down. Trust me, I've done it before. Uh, I think the door is jammed, said the pig. So the wolf took an enormous breath. That means like really big breath. And he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Yikes, dude. You're supposed to be somewhat bad. Right now you're just doing the same as the other wolf in the other story, right? If I had to compare and contrast, you're doing the same thing. Just knocking down the houses, not fair. I'm amazed that works, he said. Meanwhile, pig number two got on his bike and rode away. The wolf was still hungry, very, very hungry. What's he gonna do next? Well, if we could predict like the other story, what's he gonna do? Gonna go for the brick house, right? Well, oh, there's some empty soda cans, soda bottles. The hungry wolf came to a beautiful brick house. There he is. And there they are watching TV. He noticed a familiar scooter and a bicycle and the house reeked of pig. That man's like smells really bad of pig. The somewhat bad wolf rang the doorbell. Who is it? Called the pigs. The wolf, open up or I'll blow this house down. Oh no, said the pigs. Not now, we're watching our favorite show. The starving wolf took a humongous, I mean, a giant breath and he huffed and he puffed and he huff, huff, puffed and he puff, huff, puffed and he huffity, huffity, puff, huff. What happens next? Does he blow the house down? Well, he did it in the other book. I wonder if he does in this book. Is he that strong? Let's see. Ah! After the hopping and puffing stopped, the third pig said, do you think he's still out there? What happened to him? The three pigs looked through the window and saw the wolf collapsed on the lawn. Look at that poor guy, said the first pig. He's exhausted. Maybe he needs some potato chips. Second pig added, and some soda. He passed out. He was so tired and so hungry, right? He passed out. Um, that's different. That's not the same as the other story, right? What happened in the first story? He goes down the chimney, right? He's like, if I can't knock the house down, I'm going to go down the chimney. And then he like burns his bottom and he runs away, right? And he doesn't come to them again. But here, he passed out. Oh, oh look at him. Is he afraid of the potato chips? What's he doing here? The three pigs revived the wolf with some smelling salts and invited him in. The somewhat bad wolf was embarrassed. Oh, he's embarrassed here. Can you see? He's like, oh no, I can't believe I did that. The somewhat bad wolf was embarrassed. I was so hungry, I could not think straight. Have a potato chip, said the first pig. Have a soda, said the second pig. Never mind that stuff, said the third pig. Dinner is almost ready. He better say sorry or build those houses again. Since their houses were wrecked, the first two pigs moved in with the third pig. My house, my rule, she said. She made them clean their rooms before they went out to play. <laughs> They're hanging out with the wolf here too. The wolf stayed too, but there was no more huffing and no more puffing and he was hardly ever bad again. Oh, so he found friends with them. Wow. These pigs are very forgiving. They were like, hey, you blew down my house? No problem, you were just hungry. Yikes. Right? To me, I would say that wolf better go rebuild the houses like that other wolf and BB wolf, right? Right? So this story, we talked about it when we were reading it, had some similarities, right? That means um, if we were comparing and trusting, it has some things that were the same. Three pigs, they build their houses, the wolf blows them down, right? But there was definitely things that were different in that story that made it kind of unique. And it's, I'm glad they were different because I wouldn't want to read the same story to you again, right? They were different. There was no mama pig. There was the farmer who gave him money and said, time to go, right? And the wolf was somewhat bad, but he didn't try to eat them again. And he didn't, he didn't go down the chimney, right? And he was he didn't like, he says he was so hungry, he wasn't thinking straight. And they kind of forgave him. And he became friends at the end. That did not happen in the original one, right? They never saw that wolf again, right? So they became friends. Hmm, interesting, right? 
there are a lot of different versions of the three little pigs and I love reading them because I love to see how authors, right? The people who wrote the story, change it up and make it slightly different or a little bit different or how they keep it kind of the same. And it becomes kind of entertaining that way, right? Their author's purpose kind of entertaining that way. All right, so I hope, um, oh, when you are reading at home, if you're reading on Raz Kids or reading books at home, try to compare and contrast. Maybe you're reading a book that reminds you of another book. How are they the same? How are they different? Or maybe while you're reading the story, maybe there's characters in there that remind you of someone. Or maybe there's even characters within the story that are kind of the same or kind of different. Compare and contrast today, okay? All right, and make sure you check out all the other teachers' videos. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you back here on Thursday.